Hello everyone, this is the most intelligent and magnificent bird, Buckbeak, speaking to you today. And in today's video, obviously, as you guys can see, today's character review will be on Gold Mythic Zachary. And before we get started, I hope all of you are doing good and staying safe out there. I'm doing good, and I'm staying safe for the most part, and the $10 Google Play Store card giveaway is underway. If any of you guys are interested in joining that giveaway, just, uh, just check the description down below for all of the info and requirements in order to join the giveaway. And I think we should go ahead and get started with this character review on Gold Mythic Zachary, shall we? Zachary, Grizzled Veteran. His trait is fast. His role is Damage Dealer. And his allegiance is a member of the Knights. Now let's take a look at his stats. His attack stat is 14,703. His HP is also 14,703. And his defense is 14,300, uh, not 300, 483. And now let's take a look at his adrenaline rush. Chop, chop. The recharge rate is 55 AP, so extremely fast, and he deals 600% damage to one enemy. This character gets 25% attack and 25% defense for three turns. Now let's take a look at his signature move, Deceptive Strike. The initial cooldown is turn two. Number of cooldowns, one turn, and number of uses, unlimited. Deal 200% damage to one enemy with trait advantage. This character gets Guardian Shield. Now, let's take a look at Zachary's mythic abilities. Agile, plus 20% increase in basic attack damage. Bloodbath. At the start of each wave, up to 5 enemies get 30% of this character's attack in bleed damage for 2 turns. Not so fast. When this character starts their turn, 60% chance all fast enemies get attack up block for 2 turns. And Nimble. When attacked, a 20% chance to reduce the damage to zero. Now, let's take a look at his uh, specialist skill. His specialist skill is aggro. Yeah, aggro. This character gets plus 30% attack and defense at the beginning of each turn. If it was not directly targeted by a successful attack or ability... In the previous turn, bonuses given this given this way stack with each other and other bonuses reset on new wave of combat. And now let's take a look at his uh, weapon. Zachary's blocking machete. Plus 25% attack, plus 25% defense, and absolute defense. When being attacked, a better chance to reduce the damage to zero. Alright, before we go over everything one, one by one, if you guys notice, and I'm sure all of you probably have noticed it by now, Zachary's artwork, the way he's just, <laughs> the animation on it when he's, uh, Tossing that uh, grenade canister is that? I think that's what that is. Yeah, I think it. I think it's simple, but I. I think it's pretty cool. Um, his adrenaline rush. 
Uh, chop chop. Deal 600% damage to one enemy. You know, he gets 25% attack and 25% defense for three turns. I mean, his adrenaline rush is not the most powerful part about this character. His adrenaline rush is not bad. It's actually de pretty decent. You know, but obviously... As you guys know, and obviously as I know, as I've come up against a Zachary, his adrenaline rush is nowhere near as powerful as uh, one of his uh, mythic abilities, if you know what I mean. So overall, not a bad adrenaline rush at all. Signature move, uh, deal 200% damage to one enemy with trait advantage, and he gets a uh, guardian shield. Obviously, I think that's uh, pretty good because obviously if you are setting up your um, Zachary for defense, you know, that Guardian Shield, you will want to try to keep him alive, you know. Now, let's take a look at his uh, mythic abilities. Agile, obviously, on all damage dealers. Uh, all damage dealers will get a 20% increase in basic attack damage, which that's... Honestly, for every damage dealer, you know, if you're able to get the 20% increase in basic attack damage, definitely go all the way with that on your um, military supplies, no matter who the damage dealer is, for sure. Now, here we go. Here is the most powerful part uh, of this character and the most annoying, the most annoying part bloodbath at the start of each wave up to five enemies get 30 percent of this character's attack in bleed damage for two turns obviously if you guys saw one of my last couple of raid videos and i came up against clem he has uh zachary on his uh defense team and obviously i only lasted about two two turns may three two turns i didn't even last that long so obviously i mean that's a really annoying really annoying uh mythic ability to come up against but it's a really really op overpowered you know a mythic ability if you have him so it's either really really good very very good or very very annoying depending on the circumstances uh, not so fast. That one could be good, maybe. If you come up against a whole team of fast enemies, that one could be good, I guess. Um, Nimble, that one actually seems like it's like actually pretty good, too. Because you have a 20% chance to reduce the damage to zero. But I don't know, honestly, I don't know if you would need to level Nimble up. If you keep the absolute um, defense on his weapon, but you may want to, you know, that's entirely up to you how you want to level up these uh, mythic abilities. Uh, definitely the two mythic abilities I would level up all the way is definitely agile for sure. Definitely do that on every damage dealer. And then obviously bloodbath. Yeah, I know, but this is a... A character review on his on what's good on him and all that. So, all right. Obviously, we know how aggro works. Uh, honestly, I think it, I think it is very good, but I haven't been able to get it to do anything off of my Gator. But I haven't really used Gator all that much, so I'm sure that's um, good and annoying. So. Now let's finally move on to his weapon. 25% uh, attack, 25% defense, absolute defense. I think this is actually one of the better default mythic, um, you know, gold mythic weapons. I honestly don't see anything wrong with keeping absolute defense on his weapon. Now, how I would do the other two, as far as attack and defense, 
I would actually try to even them out as much as possible with the attack in defense. Or if you want to use, uh, say if you don't want attack on the weapon and you want to go all out attack on the mods, I would put HP and defense on the weapon or attack in HP, something like that, and go more defensively on the mods. Uh, something of those combinations on his weapon and mods, like I said. So overall, obviously, he's a very, very good OP um, tune if you have him. But on the other side of things, if you don't have him and you come up against him, he's obviously very, very, very annoying and a pain in the butt to deal with. Even worse than Uncle Sam. So I don't think I have much more else left to say. I think that is going to do it for this video. If you guys want to jump down there to the comments and tell me what you think about Gold Mythic Zachary. Or just to simply say hi, you may. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. And if you like my content, subscribe to see more. It would be much appreciated. And to those who are subscribed to me already, it is very much appreciated. You guys are very awesome, and I thank you again. I want each and every one of you to have a magnificent day and magnificent weekend ahead. And don't forget to hit the bell and switch on all notifications so you know the second I upload to YouTube. I am Buckbeak, and I'm going to go fly away back to my nest. Until next time, bye guys.